So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the wiggly text effect in Premiere Pro. For this video only one effect is required which is called turbulent displace. Simply head over to the effects panel and search up turbulent and it should be the one underneath distort called turbulent displace. Drag and drop it onto your text. Now what we are going to do next may look different to yours. My sequence frame rate is currently 24 fps. If you do have a higher or lower frame rate then the wiggle effect is going to look a little bit different. Anyways head over to the effect controls and what we are going to do is keyframe the amount and also the size and then we are going to head four or five keyframes ahead it does depend on how you want it to look like but i'm going to go four keyframes forward so one two three four and then i'm going to set the amount to something like 10 and then the size to 50. next up what you want to do is highlight all your keyframes and then right click on any keyframe as long as all of them are highlighted and then what you want to do is just click on hold oh and also for the first keyframe we did for the amount you just want to set that to five but anyways the reason why we have put these keyframes on hold uh, as you can see it will not move at all as we move in between the keyframes until we actually reach the specific keyframe you're going to see why in a minute but anyways you want to do the same thing so one two three four and we want to set the amount to something like 25 and then the size to 15 if that looks a bit strange you can swap them around so 15 and then 25 once again one two three four we're going to set the amount to around 10 and then the size to 50. Now once again head four keyframes forward but this time what we're going to do is highlight every single keyframe hold alt on our keyboard or command if you're on mac i think i'm not sure if that's the right one but anyways hold alt and then click and drag it all the way to the right until it locks onto the timeline bar just like that and let go now what we've done here is just repeated the same effects and we have made something that looks like this now if you cannot copy these keyframes what you can also do is highlight every single keyframe and then right click on one and then click on copy and then right click on empty space and then just click on paste. But anyways I hope you did find this video helpful if you did then why not drop a like and also subscribe if you are new. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video so yeah peace.